So let's talk about signs and symptoms of UTI and their definitions as well too. Burning with urination. So that burning sensation that you get with urination is absolutely not expected. So it's painful. And again, when you have UTI, that urination and that pain is very irritating. The next one is frequency and urgency. People confuse those. Urgency means that I, I gotta feel like I gotta go all the time. The frequency is the amount of times that I attempt to go. So with frequency, I may try to go five, six times in an hour, whereas the urgency is what's making me go more frequently as well too. If we get a urine specimen or urine analysis, we're probably gonna look at it. We're gonna say, hey, you know what? This is cloudy. It's not that clear liquid fluid, that clear liquid um, urine that you're gonna normally get. So look for that cloudiness as well too. As you whiffed it, you're going to see that there is this pungent smell. So the strong pungent smell or foul smelling urine is also an indication of a UTI. The other ones kind of come and go, may, may happen or may not happen. Uh, for instance, pelvic pain, depending on where it started and where it's ascended to, then it could develop some pelvic pain as well too. Blood in the urine, again, depending on what type of an infectious process it is, maybe it's like an E. coli, a hemorrhagic one, where we're talking about the urination actually getting rid of blood as well too. And then the last one is feeling tired or shaky um, or just having that general malaise, right? If you have an infection, that general malaise is something that we we're worried about as well too. So, um, and one last one, we're gonna put this towards geriatric patients. Geriatric patients, UTI, altered mental status, ask graph, think about that. Find that one on your boards or at least know how to correlate that in real life. So hope you enjoy.